Okay, guys. I'm sorry. What's up, Aries? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. This is the fourth try, guys, okay? And I got three different stories, so this time, I just had to keep y'all spread out. So I'm sorry that I'm basically y'all reading this already done and i'm just gonna end up going back through what i already went through but y'all story done changed so many times and i want to at least get one of these stories out because for some reason for aries the story just don't want to come out i'm getting phone calls back to back that's stopping the tape over and over and it's just a hot mess it's annoying okay so guys i just want to give y'all the rundown this is the first half of june the lies they tell and the secrets they keep okay and in these readings we gauge the energy in your surrounding space in which um we just check in the energy of the people that surround you you know if there's any co-workers friends lovers family members that you really can't trust because they in the inner energy of secrecy or deception envy whatever the case may be okay if you guys haven't already subscribed to the tribe please go ahead and do so by hitting that subscribe button plus that post notification bell so you can be notified every single time i post another video or go live give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave all your thoughts and opinions down below guys okay all right guys so I want to say the two cards that came out for you was stifled, bored, and stuck, as well as the storm angel. So you got Violet Duchess and the storm angel here. And basically what this is saying to me is that you and somebody else don't have enough in common in order to keep something going here. Okay. So, you know, you are at a stalemate in a certain situation, Aries, and you're ready to move forward. I feel like over time, your thoughts and the way you view things and your whole paradigm has elevated and changed and switched to the point where the person that you currently with, you are no longer compatible with. Okay. So I'm getting that you could be going back to somebody in the past that you may have turned down or left out in the cold. You want them to come back around towards you because I'm getting the uh, the five of pentacles in reverse or the five of materials in this deck. Um, but that is the five of pentacles in reverse. And that's basically speaking to wanting to allow somebody back in that you felt like you had to shut out. And what I'm getting is that you guys may have been so bored, so stuck, so stifled and feeling like there was a lack of growth in the current situation that you're in, that you might have got something else started. You got so freaking excited here and you started making plans in the future, plans for the future with this person without even thinking about the fact with the two of wands in reverse here you can tell that you guys was looking at the distant future and already making plans because however good this new person makes you feel because i'm getting the two of cups for their energy too it makes you want to just rush forward i'm getting the chariot here and we all know that that's one of the fastest moving cars in tarot um and it's speaking to how fast you wanted to move forward before you can even think about the fact that you're not even out of a, a your current situation. It's like, okay, well, I got to actually complete this situation before I can just go, you know, leave like a thief in the night, hop in my chariot and run off into the sun with this two of cups energy. All right. And I'm definitely doubling down on the fact that you feel like you can build a stable future with this person with the muse of materials and this is basically that earth that earthy energy of wanting to like actually set roots and like make things grow together and like spend a long term together one of you guys can have earth in your chart if not then you guys just feel a deep sen sense of groundedness with each other here maybe they're very grounded as an individual maybe um they ground you but i definitely feel like you stop giving your energy to your current situation so that you can let back this old person that you shut out to begin with because you felt like it wasn't under moral circumstances okay all right so we're definitely going to get the passage for the muse of materials just so you can get the energy of how you feel about this person and basically how y'all equally feel about each other and what it is that y'all was making plans to do but i'm seeing that you guys was moving too fast and you had to pump your brakes with the chariot in reverse here Okay, guys, I'm getting, she's been working on new skills. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> That's not it. Okay, in the garden of life, she finds herself at the door. Above it sits the muse of materials, reflected in all of nature. She whispers from the flowers, the grass, the trees. 
She flitters among the birds and babbles in the creeks. The muse uses all the materials of the earth to bring her world into form. She looks down and offers a lesson of manifesting in abundance. Sweet creator, these things are yours for the taking and the using, the fusing and the gentle forming. Your harvest little sprout arises from the earth, so ground into her low humming energy and breathe in her humidity and warmth. It take, wait, it's time to take another small step towards the gardens of life and commit to watering, healing, dancing in this, and loving as much as sorry I should already have this marked off loving as much as you can material success and joys are arriving seek the grounding energy of earthly delights and know that your own fertile lands are blooming now okay so again you feel a sense of growth with this person this person has helped you know in a literal sense helped you elevate your mind okay because like I said, the reason why you're feeling such a disconnect from your current person is because you've had a paradigm shift. So your energy is switched up. Your thoughts and beliefs have switched up. Your thoughts and beliefs have switched up because of this person. So why is the storm angel here? For Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the north node spirit. Why is Storm Angels here? For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. The Sun card. So like I said, I feel like this, you have possibly an Aquarius, a Leo, or, and this is your energy here, but we got the Star, the Fool, and the Sun card coming out back to back. Three major arcanas coming out back to back, Aries. So this person definitely makes you feel some type of way. And one of the ways they do help you is that they help you heal. They make you feel so happy on the inside, so centered, so just above the BS that, you know, you can see past anything now. You feel like no matter what the outcome with this person, that is going to be a good one, okay? This person is wish fulfillment for you on a grand scale, um, whenever I see the sun card that speaks to authenticity and like spiritual nakedness, like being able to be your true self, despite your flaws around this person feeling, you know, acceptance, bona fide acceptance from this person without any, um, terms and conditions, healing, inner wound healing, uh, un the healing of unresolved issues, especially as it pertains to childhood, because I see the sun as a childlike energy. Um, so also just invoking and healing, you know, that inner child or just like making your inner child really happy. Why is the storm angel here? Ooh. Collision of belief styles, attitudes, and energy, the death card. So yeah, you know what it is? This person definitely changed you. They changed how you think. They changed a lot about you you know they they might have caused like literally an awakening for you again i'm getting that you guys could be dealing with a cancer an aquarius another area such as yourself and the sun i mean and leo sorry okay what else for a storm angel for aries <laughs> and that's the thing like it's no it's no conflict between you and this person. It's really easy going. The inspiration and reverse is here. So I feel like you leave in a very tumultuous situation and you walking right into like a twin flame type of energy because we got the lovers here. Okay. And that could be the reason why you just so determined. Like that, that could be the reason why you needed to pump your brakes because it's like you met this person and they just emulate so much light and you was just like, you was like on the hump, ready to go. You know, they provide so much stability where other people kind of drain you energetically here. And so that's why it was hard for you to stay away from this person, even though I feel like you tried. You tried and you tried, but you was like a, a prisoner in your own head when it came to this person. You just couldn't get them out of your head.
Okay, why is the five of materials in reverse? Yeah, I feel like you blocked this person, like your wish fulfillment, the person that make you so happy, the person that you have not just emotional, mental, and physical connection with, but an actual spiritual connection with. I feel like you blocked this person because, you know, at first it was scary for you, the intensity of this whole connection, but it was like, you guys, whatever you felt for each other, it was blossoming with the storks here that always speaks to something that elevates like the natural order, the natural way of things like going from friends to dating, dating relationship, relationship to engagement, engaged to marriage and marriage to kids. And you felt this blossoming from something so small and innocent to something bigger and like felt yourself developing more feelings for somebody new than what you already have for somebody that you were trying to let go of <clears throat> somebody that caused you quite a bit of like energetic strife or physical strife like you could have to work really hard like this other person that you would could be a handful they can barely like i don't know i want to say they barely put anything into the relationship they probably leave it for you all to do meanwhile this newer person they bring you a lot of peace I feel like they try to take as much stress as they can off your back. Why is the six of materials here, Spirit? Yeah, you trying to set yourself free here. And that's the thing. It's like the reason why the chariot show up in reverse. <laughs> I hear all the tangle around this area. But um, the reason why the chariot is showing up in reverse is because you again you felt like you had to pump your brakes because you didn't realize how quickly you was moving into a new situation without ending another one Sorry. why is the muse of materials here yeah and see what did i say like i said i feel like this other person is just like i said the compatibility is run out the possibilities for this relationship to to work any further has run out i feel like your money has run out or your desire to want to spend on this person has ran out like i feel like they've taken advantage you know you could they could have broke the bank you know um and i feel like you're the only person that's working in this situation aries or whoever you um do live with they they work they receive money and they spend it on themselves and the things that they spend it on is like unnecessary things why are you responsible for all the resp the uh responsibilities here why is the star card here spirit for aries sun moon rising venus for the lies they tell and the secrets they keep great fortune like i said this is wish fulfillment for you on a grand scale and while everybody else just takes and takes and takes, wow, this just looks so trophy-esque. This are this like, I don't know, you could be dating a celebrity. Because I don't know why this look like Grammy and somebody that's an actual star here. So you guys could be um, dealing with somebody that's in the public eye for sure. Or either, you know, they already hold like a tight spot in the industry or something. I definitely get that, you know, everybody always everybody else is always taken from you this person can be very very generous maybe they can be like maybe they can be more financially well off than you aries why is the full card here yeah you was ready to move towards this person without thought quickly i'm getting fast energy before you even had a breakup you know, and then you started to realize again, like I know it's repetitive at this point, but it's pretty cut and dry though, Aries, like period. Like you felt something for somebody. Y'all, You guys have a very strong connection. You guys definitely mirror each other. You definitely feel fruitful with this person. I mean, they could be Empress Energy. They could be a boss or a business person, Aries, but there's a sense of everybody else taking from you, draining you like using you for everything and this person is just so loving and giving and nurturing and kind they're very healing to you they make you feel like a young lad again or you know a young girl again young damsel again why is the lovers here wow you know that y'all twin flames with the book coming out here 
Maybe you studied up on it. Maybe you've been looking it up on YouTube, Wikipedia, and everything else. Like, what is a twin flame? Because I do got a feeling that this person has different beliefs than you, but they 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 spark the curiosity when it comes down to what it is that they believe in spiritually. They also like kind of dragged you to their side because you starting to see a lot of the stuff that they said to you in the past making sense. Let me get one more for the lover's card, spirit. It's going to be the person you marry, Aries. This is definitely going to be the person you marry. And they started off as a friend. Why is the death card here? Yeah. And I'm getting the sun card twice. That's just doubling down on how happy this person makes you. And I feel like you had a real woe is me type of... Uh, type of like mo before you met this person now you see the brighter side to life they helped you see a lot they helped you see how much conflict the chaos and tension was in your home because when you're around them it's so much peace i'm getting the lilies representing you guys connection so this person brought you a lot of peace they're very generous with their energy which is very healing to be um quite frank i feel like they generous with everything they finances they was ready to risk it all to work things out with you. And I feel like you turned this person away because you wanted to do the right thing. And they they possibly felt so burnt and, and you know, they felt the heaviness of y'all separation. But you felt like it was something you had to do so that you can actually address this correctly. Why is the ten of inspiration here? Yes. You were burnt, but this person is bringing so much balance and positive change into your life here. With the family, this is like a healthy, healthy, happy family here. And I'm definitely getting like um, reincarnated energy here. So you could have had a, a, um, definitely a soul contract with this person. But you also could have had another lifetime with this person in the past. Yeah. This is definitely power couple energy, all right? So I do feel like your finances, your luck, your wealth is going to change with this person because they equally as grounded and equally as hardworking as you when it kind of felt like you was working against the grain with this other person over here because maybe they was just on their ass and just like sitting back waiting for a check. Meanwhile, you busting your behind to bring in money and everything got to be spent on the bill. So maybe you felt like you never could like climb out of debt or maybe never could change anything about your situation because it is why is the strength card in reverse because you failed at, at this you tried to tame yourself and you just couldn't you feel too called to this person why is the strength card here in reverse mm -hmm, i'm getting leo energy twice yeah you feel like this connection is protected there is something about this person that makes you feel I don't know. Maybe they remind you of your mother, and I always get that for you, Aries. Um, but the mom, either the mature woman or the mother bear protection almost always shows up in y'all reading. So it's something about this person. Maybe they are a mother, but they just have a natural mothering, um, very nurturing quality about them that makes you feel comfortable. You know, maybe this is the same, a, a similar quality. Quality to what you've seen in your own mother or something that you felt like you was missing in your mother. But you feel a sense of warmth and protection from this person that you've never felt with another romantic interest. Okay? And that's what sets them out, sets them aside from the rest. Alright, so let's see. What is the final outcome and advice for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node Spirit? Attraction. And I told you with that strength in reverse here, it's definitely like, oh, man... It's like such an attraction. I feel like subconsciously you kind of hope for something or someone like them. And the universe kind of exceeded your expectations here. Because I feel like you could have just been wishing on a star like, dang, I wish I had somebody that I can connect to. That it's never a dull moment with. That I feel so, 
you know, connected to whatever the case, but you was hoping why you was in this in, in a other situation feeling bored, stuck and stifled. And I can't help but to notice that that's a 44 card and y'all have plenty of prosperity throughout y'all reading. So I do feel like um, between you two, y'all both know how to attract a lot of abundance. Surrender. Remember, you was trying to tame yourself. And that energetic pull, you know, that divine attraction just kept pulling at you until you couldn't do anything else but surrender to this connection. And that's exactly what you had to do, all right? And surrender to the, to the fear. Like, don't allow ego to keep you stuck in a cage, okay? All right, guys. So I really hope this helped. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.